Many birds look feathery, fluffy, and cute. It's easy to get a false sense of security and lean in to pet them. The problem is, they can be vicious, and you might be lucky to escape with your hand. Although, some birds are certainly more terrifying than others, especially to their prey. From the giant harpy eagle to the screechy, red-tailed hawk, here are 20 dangerous birds you should run away from. Number 20. Griffin Vulture Griffin vultures look as terrifying as they are. If you see this bird, you have a few seconds to hide. While young griffin vultures may leave you alone, the older ones can be known to display aggressive behavior. And given their huge size, it's not clear if you'd win in a fight against them. Griffin vultures are old world vultures from the bird of prey family and can weigh up to 23 pounds. They have a massive wingspan of over 9 feet and have dark flight feathers in contrast to their white neck ruff and yellow bill. Fortunately for us, griffin vultures don't tend to be aggressive killers. They are scavengers, so they'll soar over open areas away from humans searching for dead animals to feast on. They aren't fussy about what they eat, as long as it's meaty. You'll know there's a dead animal and a vulture nearby when you can hear it hissing and grunting while it eats. But they don't feast explicitly on animals, which is the terrifying part. A 52-year-old woman was hiking in the Pyrenees in 2013 and fell off a cliff to her death. Even before rescue workers had a chance to recover her body, griffin vultures made quick work of her. By the time they arrived, only a few of her bones and her clothing was left. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Lammergeier the Lammergeier, or bearded vulture, is a massive bird of prey and old world vulture. They are classed as near threatened and live and breed in southern Europe, Tibet, the Indian subcontinent, the Caucasus, and Africa. Bearded vultures are up to 49 inches long with an over 9 foot wingspan, and they can weigh as much as 17 pounds. Those living around the Himalayas can be even larger than that. While most vultures are bald, the bearded vulture is the exception. They have white feathers on the tops of their heads, black bands across their eyes and bristles under their chin, hence the name. Perhaps the most terrifying feature of the Lammergeier is its ability to digest huge bones in a matter of hours. They have an incredible acid concentration of 1 pH in their stomach, which means they can dissolve bones into nothing in under a day. This puts them in good stead to always have a tasty meal, as even once other animals have picked a carcass clean, the bearded vulture can return months later to feast on the bones and get nutrients from the marrow. As is typical with other vultures, the bearded vulture is a scavenger and prefers dead animals over live ones that it has to kill itself. They mainly eat mammals, birds, and reptiles, and their diet is made up of 90% bone marrow. They're by no means the scariest or most aggressive bird species out there, but they're still not one you'd want to approach regardless. Number 18. Vampire Ground Finch I quite like where my blood is, you know, in my body where it helps with all my vital bodily functions. So it's in my best interest, and yours, to stay away from the vampire ground finch. You can just guess from the name what these birds do. Vampire ground finches come from the Galapagos Islands. The males are black and the females are gray with brown streaks. It's important to know that they look like that so you can stay away from them. While they look like ordinary birds, they drink the blood of other birds, such as the blue-footed boobies and Nazca. When they approach these birds, they'll just start pecking at them until they draw blood. Strangely, the blue-footed boobies don't even put up a fight. Experts think that the pecking behavior of the vampire ground finch actually evolved from them cleaning parasites from the booby. They must have decided they liked the taste of blood, and the boobies still think the vampire finches are doing them a favor. But they don't just stop at blood. Once other birds lay their eggs, the finches will steal them, roll them into rocks to crack them, and then eat them. If they can't get enough eggs, they'll steal less leftover fish and guano from other predators, and will also eat seeds. Number 17. Crowned Eagle 
Crowned eagles are birds of prey from sub-Saharan Africa in southern Africa. They prefer to live in forests and woodlands and survive on a diet of mostly mammals. You might think that because they're birds, they just eat insects and small birds, but they rarely ever choose insects, lizards, and birds. Instead, they prefer rock hyrax and even primates like monkeys. It kind of makes sense, though, since they are giant birds with even more enormous appetites. Crowned eagles have long 35-inch tails, 39-inch bodies, and they can weigh up to around 10 pounds. They are also the fifth largest extant eagle in the world. A bird of such considerable size can be pretty scary to see in person, especially since crowned eagles are reported to be almost fearless to humans. However, you'll be pleased to know that it's unusual for them to react to humans with aggression. But that's not to say they haven't. Some evidence has suggested that African crowned eagles caused the death of a child whose remains were found in a cave in South Africa in 1924. National Geographic has also reported that eagles in general have been known to attack and sometimes even eat human children. So even if crowned eagles show no interest in hurting you, it's probably best that you keep your distance from this massive feathery fella. Number 16. Harpy Eagle Harpy eagles are neotropical eagles that live in tropical lowland forests. They are known as the largest and most powerful raptor in their range, and the largest extant eagle species in the world. These birds have slate black feathers, a white underside, and striped black feathered tarsi. They are also distinguishable by a black band that separates their gray heads from their white bellies. Most harpy eagles weigh up to around 20 pounds, and they can grow up to over 3 feet long. Their wingspan is just as impressive at over 7 feet long. As you probably have already guessed, harpy eagles are at the top of the food chain where they live. Almost nothing is off the menu, and they prefer a diet of tree-dwelling mammals like monkeys and sloths. Knowing that they possess the might and strength to kill fully grown monkeys and sloths, there is potential for them to harm humans. BBC cameraman James Aldred learned that the hard way. As the filmmakers attempted to place a camera in a harpy eagle's nest, a female harpy eagle launched a protective attack. She ripped through his neck protection, knocked out his communications equipment in his helmet, and nearly left him unconscious. Two others experienced a hit in the kidneys and torn leather thigh protection. Fortunately, they knew just how powerful these birds could be and wore protective clothing like stab-proof Kevlar vests, helmets, wrist guards, and elbow guards. Number 15. Paris's Hawk Harris's hawk, also known as Dusty Hawk, is a medium to large bird of prey from Brazil, central Argentina, Chile, the southwestern United States, and Britain. These magnificent birds are known for hunting in packs, whereas other raptors like them prefer to hunt alone. Their intelligence and social nature have made them easy to train, so they've become quite popular for use in falconry. Harris's hawks can grow up to 23 inches long with a 47-inch wingspan, and they weigh up to about 3.6 pounds. They have brown brown plumage, red shoulders and tail feathers, and touches of white. If you're going to spot them anywhere, it'll be in semi-desert and woodland environments, as well as some marshes if they have trees. The majority of their diet is made up of small critters like insects, birds, lizards, and some mammals. But they can also take down larger creatures weighing up to about 4 pounds, like wild turkeys, jackrabbits, and great blue heron. As it turns out, some Harris's hawks also have a bone to pick with us, and some attacks have been reported. In 2017, a runner suffered horrific injuries when out on a 5-kilometer run around Chelliston in England. Andy Llewellyn heard the flapping of wings before experiencing a significant whack on the head. He didn't realize how bad his injury was until he returned home. He suffered two large gashes to his head and required a trip to the emergency room. According to wildlife experts, the Harris's hawk was likely not wild and had probably escaped from its falconer since they virtually never attack people. Well, there's a first for everything. Number 14. Peregrine Falcon Peregrine falcons are crow-sized falcons with black heads, blue-gray backs, and barred white underparts. They are renowned for their speed and are capable of flying at over 200 miles an hour before performing high-speed dives. These birds can be found pretty much everywhere on Earth, except for New Zealand and extreme polar regions, which makes them one of the most widespread raptors in the world. While not the largest falcons, they're still pretty huge. They grow up to about 23 inches long with 47-inch wingspans and weigh up 
to about three pounds. That's definitely heavy enough if they're swooping at you. They sustain their weight on a diet of pigeons, waders, songbirds, doves, and waterfowl, so they mainly stick to birds. And while they're host to a range of parasites and pathogens like Newcastle disease virus and Avipox virus, we found uses for them in our lives. These birds are highly admired for falconry and have been used for this job for about 3,000 years. They're easy to train, quite athletic, and have a pretty impressive attacking style. And they're not afraid to use their martial arts skills when they need to. In 2013, researchers at Toledo University in Ohio were trying to tag young peregrine falcons, but their protective parents were having none of that. They had to fend off multiple attacks and even use wooden shields to stop them from hurting them. Fortunately, they had the foresight to wear hard hats. Number 13. Bald Eagle Bald eagles are probably one of the most well-known eagle species globally. They are a bird of prey from North America and mostly live around the United States, Canada, Alaska, and northern Mexico. As you know, they are also the national bird of the U.S. Bald eagles are easily identifiable by their bright yellow beak and irises, feather-free legs, large talons, and beautiful plumage consisting of a white chest, head and tail, and a brown body. And if it's not their coloring that'll make you notice them, it's their size. They are considered the largest true raptor in North America, with a 40-inch body length, 7-foot wingspan, and a mass of up to around 14 pounds. They're no small fries, that's for sure. The bald eagle's diet is pretty varied, much like ours. They are opportunistic carnivores, which means they'll take whatever they can find, like fish, mammals, and the scraps left behind by other animals, like bears. While there have been some instances where bald eagles have attacked humans, the injuries are generally minor. The most likely time to be attacked by a bald eagle, or any bird, is during mating season, when they become more territorial. Number 12. Red-Tailed Hawk Red-tailed hawks are birds of prey from North America. They are known throughout the United States as chicken hawk, but they rarely prey on chickens, so who knows where that came from. You'll likely spot red-tailed hawks in a range of habitats, like deserts, forests, fields, grasslands, and even urban areas. These hefty guys weigh up to about three and a half pounds and measure approximately 26 inches long. Their wingspan is pretty impressive, too, at around five feet. What they can eat can depend on where they live, but small mammals like rodents, hares, rabbits, and voles tend to be their favorites. Trying to get to where I can get to his back legs. They occasionally eat fish, invertebrates, and amphibians. Probably not surprisingly, given their prevalence, red-tailed hawks are popular in falconry. They are easy to tame and train, and they tend to be more social than other falcons or hawks. They also live a long time and are resistant to a lot of diseases. Once trained, falconers release the red-tailed hawk so that it can perch in a tree. The falconer, who normally has a dog, will stir up the ground cover to flush prey out, and the hawk will follow the falconer and dog to catch game. When it detect something, the falconer has to locate the hawk and trade the bird for its game with a piece of meat or something equally as desirable. Number 11. Great Horned Owl Great horned owls, which people also call tiger owls, are native to the Americas. They live on a diet of rabbits, hares, voles, rats, and mice, and reside in many areas. They are known as the world's most adaptable owls. These beautiful birds have unique camouflage coloring, including light and dark brown across their bodies with mottling and other patches. Some also have white patches on their throat, which they can hide if they need to. Most great horned owls are about 25 inches long, with a wingspan of up to 5 feet and a mass of about 3 and a half pounds. Depending on the subspecies, some can also weigh over five pounds. Now, you might be wondering why you'd be best to steer clear of great horned owls, especially when they look so innocent. While attacks on humans are rare, there have been some reported. Great horned owls have launched many an attack on unsuspecting hikers and joggers when they think they're getting too close to their young. While painful, the attacks are rarely severe. In 2012, several swooping instances were recorded in a Seattle park. Later, in 2015, a great horned owl struck a jogger's scalp repeatedly in Salem, Oregon. So while they're generally pretty relaxed, they are definitely a bird to watch. Number 10. Giant Petrel 
It's hard to imagine that giant petrels could be aggressive birds that you're best to avoid. They just look like a regular large bird, so I don't know what I was expecting. Giant petrels are the largest birds in the Procellularity family and come from the southern hemisphere. They have colonies as far away as Antarctica and also choose secluded islands to breed, like the Prince Edward Islands and Macquarie Island. While they are called giant petrels, their aggressive predatory nature and scavenging tendencies have people calling them stinkers. South Sea whalers also refer to them as gluttons. Giant petrels, specifically the southern birds, can weigh up to about 18 pounds with 83-inch wingspans and 39-inch body lengths. They look kind of like albatrosses and have strong legs, mottled brown coloring, and hooked bills. These birds eat in the water and on land. They'll eat animal carcasses they stumble across on land and krill, fish, and squid in the water. When they find something they like on land, they will dominate the carcass to keep other animals away. They do this by stretching their wings out, pointing their head at their opponent, and just generally acting aggressively. They'll even kill other seabirds by battering them to death or drowning them. As people have pointed out online, it's actually quite hard to find pictures of giant petrels that aren't covered in blood, don't have their heads submerged inside bloated marine mammals, or aren't splattered with gore from a battle with another bird. Number 9. European Herring Gull if you live along the shores of Western Europe, there's one bird you'll probably be quite familiar with, the European herring gull. These massive 26-inch long gulls live throughout many parts of Europe into Scandinavia and even the Baltic states. And if you can't spot one right now, all you need to do is purchase some french fries and they'll soon show up, mark my words. These gulls have a varied diet of fish, plants, crustaceans, and of course, food stolen or left by humans. They are scavengers in every sense of the word. It's sad to think that their numbers are declining, but the good news is that they have well and truly proven that they could adapt to human populated areas and live among us quite easily. These gulls generally weigh up to about 3 pounds and have light gray coloring with white underparts and sometimes black wingtips. Their legs are often pink, but can also be yellow. Sometimes their features depend on where you live. As you've probably experienced yourself, gulls can be pretty aggressive. Typically, this is when they're trying to protect their young or become too familiar with scavenging food from humans. If you want a gull-free dining experience, it pays to scan the area to see if there are any around before you sit down to eat. Number 8. Barred Owl Barred owls, striped owls, or hoot owls as they're also known, are huge owls from North America. They mostly live around the eastern parts of North America, but are now considered invasive on the west coast. They live in mature forests and open woodlands and feast on small mammals, although they are opportunistic predators, which means they'll happily devour amphibians, invertebrates, reptiles, and birds if they're readily available. These grayish-brown owls have white bars on their backs and wings and creamy brown base coloring. Their bellies are also streaked in vertical patterns, making them quite mesmerizing to look at. You would definitely consider this owl species to be quite large, since they can grow up to around 25 inches long with a 49-inch wingspan and a body mass of up to about 2.5 pounds. As impressive as they are in their coloring and size, their vocalization is also a noteworthy point. These owls are powerful vocalists, and their eight accented hoot calls can carry over half a mile. The easiest way to remember how their call sounds is by saying, who cooks for you, who cooks for you all. It's probably a good thing they're so easy to hear because you can try your best to avoid being attacked by them. Many Oregon residents reported being dive-bombed by barred owls in Bush Pasture Park. There were at least four reported attacks, with people getting bit in the head and on other parts of their bodies. While attacks are rare, barred owls can be quite territorial when they're trying to raise their young. Number 7. Cassowary Cassowaries are unique, beautiful birds, and you can't help but want to get close to one to check out all their features. But you know what you should do instead? Stay well away from anywhere cassowaries might live. There's a reason they're considered one of the most dangerous birds in the world. Cassowaries are native to New Guinea and Northern Australia and have blue heads, red wattles, and black feathers. They stand about 6 feet tall, weigh up to about 160 pounds, and can't fly. But they don't need their wings since they have incredibly powerful legs. 
legs. They can run at speeds of up to 31 miles an hour and are also great swimmers, so there's no escaping them on land or in the water. Cassowaries can also jump up to 7 feet in the air and use their legs for evil. As they have 4 inch long dagger like claws, they can deliver powerful kicks that can slice any person or animal with ease. It's not hard to imagine that people could die after being attacked by a cassowary, and they have. The first documented death was in 1926 when a 16-year-old boy fell over and a cassowary kicked him in the neck, severing his jugular vein. He and his brother had found the cassowary on their property and tried to kill it. Instead, it killed one of them. The most recent death associated with a cassowary was in 2019, when a 75-year-old man was clawed to death by a cassowary he raised. There have been at least 150 reported attacks, resulting in non-fatal injuries. Number 6 Snowy Owl Hedwig, is that you? Most of us can't help but associate snowy owls with the one featured in the Harry Potter films, and they are genuinely quite beautiful birds. Snowy owls are large white owls native to Arctic regions that are one of the largest owl species in the world. Males are usually whiter than females, while females often have dark brown flecks. This is generally a good way to identify sexes from a young age. Most owls hunt during the night and sleep during the day, but snowy owls do the opposite. They are active during the day, especially in summer, and sleep during the night. They prefer to hunt for small mammals and water birds, but will also eat carrion if they come across it. If you were another animal competing for food, it's hard to imagine you'd come off best. Snowy owls can measure as long as 25 inches and have a 5 foot plus wingspan and body mass of up to about 4 pounds. They are much larger than they look on TV. If you saw Hedwig in Harry Potter, you might assume that all snowy owls are as gentle, calm, and relaxed as he was, but that's not actually true of wild snowy owls. They have been known to attack humans and pets. Often, their intention is to drive a threat away, particularly when defending their territory, mate, or nesting area. The problem is, regardless of their intentions, their attacks hurt. They have four three-inch sharp talons on each foot, so you're probably gonna have blood drawn if you're attacked by one. Number 5. Common Loon Common loons are large birds that live on lakes and waterways in the United States, Canada, Alaska, and Greenland. They eat mollusks, fish, insect larvae, and crustaceans, and these help them sustain their incredible heft of up to 17 pounds. Humans are pretty safe around loons, but you can't say the same about other birds. They can be incredibly aggressive in their territory and will engage in battles with geese, ducks, and other water birds. They're not afraid of a fight, that's for sure. And it doesn't even matter what size the other birds are. That much is true when you learn about a loon stabbing a bald eagle right through the heart. A game warden received a call in 2019 in Maine about a bald eagle floating dead in a lake. They suspected it might have been poisoned or shot, but it turned out to be a stab wound created by the sharp beak of a common loon. A dead loon chick was found nearby, leading them to believe the eagle had been attacked while raiding a nest. Number 4. Mute Swan it won't take you long to come across video after video of mute swans trying to attack people, dogs, and pretty much anything it deems a threat. These massive waterfowl can be incredibly dangerous, especially when defending their nests. Often, they start hissing loudly to warn people and animals off, but if that doesn't work, they're not afraid to launch physical attacks. And we really do mean physical. New Jersey residents were not enjoying summer at Greenwood Lake in 2020 in the presence of these big nuisance critters. A woman and her young grandchild had to shelter behind a pontoon boat to escape from an attack, and a man was even knocked off his jet ski. But that's not even the worst of it. A 37-year-old man was knocked out of his kayak in Des Plaines by a mute swan, and it stopped him from getting to shore. Sadly, he drowned. So yeah, it's definitely in your best interest to give mute swans a wide berth. Number 3. Hooded Peter Hooey you might think that birds can only be dangerous by launching attacks with their beaks, wings, and sometimes their feet, but the hooded pitahui has another card to play. This bird is venomous. Hooded pitahuis from New Guinea are medium-sized songbirds and one of the few known poisonous birds in the world. Their skin, feathers, and tissue contain batrachotoxin compounds which are thought to come from their diet.
It's believed that the toxins protect them from parasites while deterring predators simultaneously. Because of their poison, they probably don't have too many threats to worry about, so they can live their best lives foraging for fruit, grass seeds, and small invertebrates. That's probably why they are considered of least concern on the IUCN Red List of threatened species. Number 2. Ostrich the good thing about ostriches is that they look as dangerous as they are. You don't gain a false sense of security because you're already wary of their 6.5 foot wingspan, 6.7 foot height, and weights of up to 350 pounds in some cases. Ostriches are the world's largest bird and the fastest runners of any other birds or two-legged animals. You'd never win against them in a running race when they can outrun you at 43.5 miles an hour or 70 kilometers an hour. Ostriches are definitely not to be messed with when they feel threatened. Not only can they run fast, but they can use their long, powerful legs as weapons to kill humans and other animals. When they attack, they rely on their long claws and feet to disembowel a person or animal with a single blow. There have been plenty of reports of abdominal trauma and at least five reported deaths. Number 1. Australian Magpie Australian magpies are medium-sized black and white birds native to Australia and New Guinea. They are about 17 inches long with 33 and a half inch wingspans and they weigh about 12.3 ounces, so they aren't exactly massive, although they don't need size on their side. They are a bird many people know to stay away from for other reasons. They become highly aggressive during the breeding season and don't think twice about swooping people or injuries if you lose control of your bike. Attacks are so common that you can actually pull up statistics about them. There were over 200,000 reported attacks in Australia in 2021 alone, and there have even been three reported deaths in history. One person died of tetanus, another crashed their bicycle while trying to avoid being dive-bombed, and the third was as recently as 2021 when a baby died as her mother tried to protect her from a swooping magpie. I wouldn't go so far as to say I'm a bird lover, but I did think they were pretty neat to watch in the trees. I'll be steering clear of some of these species now, that's for sure. Have you seen any of these birds in person? Have you watched any of them capture prey? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.